When we talk about um, vibrational frequency and you talk about being tuned in, turned on, tapped in, and you've mentioned before about, you know, if the uh, tuning into a radio station, you want to be at 93.7 for the, the job, the money, the car that you want. How do you know that, you know, you talk about like it's if you're it's right. a satisfaction factor we haven't talked about it today you all know it anyway but we've defined basically three steps to the process step one is the contrast causes you to ask step two is the law of attraction in your inner being focus and gather the cooperative components and set it right there for you to do step three which is let it in mm -hmm. and so so is there necessarily a specific frequency then if it's just more about letting it in and well we can't define the frequency because Esther doesn't have the mathematical or the scientific vocabulary for it but we can speak it to you in emotional terms and love is that highest purest frequency and it's the purity of the frequency it's the purity of it it's the lack of resistance in it it doesn't have to be a strong signal if it's not being contradicted with other signals being included it is a strong signal that's the best way of saying it so it's appreciation love exhilaration it's those feelings but as our friend was saying earlier it takes a little while for the momentum to gather about that it might start out just feeling peaceful or fun or interesting or slightly interesting we would encourage all of you as a result of this conversation in the next day or two we never assign homework but this is a fun game pick a subject that you've not had much interest in and just softly focus on it it could be a thing it could be a place it could be just about any subject but something that you don't have a lot of knowledge or current interest about when Jerry and Esther moved to Tucson and there were the big swarrows that were standing out in the desert and Esther said let's bring one home and Jerry said you can't just go get one of those they're permitted and Esther said I don't know how we'd get it home anyway and then they turned a corner and there was one on a truck and the truck had big claws like a backhoe is a big shovel it had big claws and apparently it just picked one up and put it there and Jerry said we've never talked about this before I didn't even know you really wanted one of those we never had the discussion how do you move one and within two minutes we're witnessing somebody moving one well that's the way the universe works if you have a thought that is pure and the fact that it was a new thought Esther hadn't thought oh yeah I've always wanted one of those but I've never been able to move one or I tried to move one and it fell on my cat and killed it there was no contradictory energy and so in its purity it came fast there are things that you want that you don't have purity about because you beat them to death with your doubt in other words you've heard too much you know too much your mother talked about it before you were even old enough to understand what word she was saying it's complicated but the law of attraction makes it not complicated the law of attraction just sorts it out so your work we're over time here we'll take a segment of refreshment soon your work if you're really wanting to have fun at this is just to find thoughts that feel good and focus on those until you can really feel your enthusiasm for whatever it is growing and then watch how the universe responds not to the bigness of your thought to the clarification of your thought to the pureness of your thought to the pure sweet desire because when you ask it is given but how do I get it out of the vortex into my greedy clutches <laughs> you ask in belief well that's the part that takes a little practice you have to stumble on some pure thoughts and see how fast they come and then you have to find some thoughts that aren't that pure that are all contradicted because you've heard too much about it you've watched too much television there's too many people have too many opinions about it so you're all jumbled on this thought and it's not going to clear up for you anytime soon but you care enough about it that you've decided that you're gonna clear it up so you deliberately put your marbles in the bag on that subject and on that subject on then that subject and the law of attraction who is always true to you shows you each and every clarified improvement that you make until you've got the hang of this you say oh this is not hard this is about me choosing and me staying true to what I've chosen this is a really good time Thank you so much. 
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and see you in the next one.